Hello guys, Dinner Fighter Dinner Steak here with some more Hearthstone Uncut. What? Rackstand Rumble came out December 4th, so this is day two of Absolute Anarchy. Smash Bros. Ultimate comes out tomorrow. I don't have a Nintendo Switch, sadly, but not in the case. <clears throat> so I've been building all kinds of stuff here. I got, I got a dragon, dragon my mech. I got a custom warrior here that I think... I don't even know what this is. I think this is, this is like Odd Dragon Warrior, and I throw through Alex Straza as Lena in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no to this one, Chief. And instead I'm gonna experiment with a deck archetype that I kinda wanna revisit. It's been rumored to be floating around the hunter in Hunter's life. It is Agro Hunter. It's the agroist of Hunter. So I'm just trying to figure out what we could probably put in here. Probably two Savannah High Mains, two Bear Sharks Better write Hydras, two kill commands, one spirit, of course. Uh, these guys really need to be in that deck here. Hmm. Problem is, when you get these aggro decks, like you get this really late game stuff, probably Deathstalk or Rexar just because King Crush, probably a definite one. We need some board removal. Two wing blasts, it might not seem like much, but that's basically a four damage board removal if you can trade into that. Speaking of trading into it, this, uh, one of these bad boys. Unleash the hounds. What else are we gonna need here? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, it's the most core card to any hunt. Ah, yes, animal companion. Uh, ha, 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 And then we got six other cards that we can fill that need to kind of fill the aggro slot. So we could, hypothetically, put in... What could we put in this spot? What's the deck archetype? We only have one two-cost card. Rat Trap, Kalisath, we're putting it in. Probably put in Zillax, too. I feel like Zillax is a card just kind of in this meta that, like, if you didn't get him, which I did get, you're kind of sucked because this is just such a great five cost card. It replaced um, Gilling Inventor when it got nerfed from the five to a seven, but it's just such a good card. I mean, five mana, so it fits kind of that awkward big curve. Uh, it's it's a mech. It's got Russian Life Steal, Divine Shield, Taunt. That's like the Holy Trinity or Quad Trinity? No, Quad Truple, Quad Tuple, the Holy Quad Tuple. Of Hearthstone enchantments here. Um, we're gonna sit down seven cards. Uh, really, in this aggro deck, probably need some weapons. Early, early turn board clear. No, I don't need to my side. That's not. That's not gonna do anything here. Two candle shots and throwing a jewel macaw. That's what aggro hunter. Question mark. Okay. Zero didn't even get copied in there. Let's give it another shot. This is just really meta testing. But I don't really like this because it doesn't really like encompy, encompass Rakistan Rumble. Really, I only have one of these. That kind of sucks. What's my quest for today anyways? We'll quickly see what the meta or what today's adventures will take us on depending on what our quest is. Play 20 minions that cost two or less. Well, I guess we'll just play this deck a bunch, right? Agro Hunter 2.0, my collection. How many? I feel like this is all three cost minions actually. Eh, no, this is fine. Okay, let's take it. We're gonna probably do some a little bit of theory craft and try and testing the waters out, and then I'll finish up with some ranked play. Cause I'm at ranked 18, I like to hit maybe 16 today. Yeah, December's kind of a hard pressed time for ranked play, nonetheless. So. Yeah, we'll be fine. Alright. Hunt to begin. Mm. Probably ditch that and just kind of go for there. Scavenging Hyena. Eh, it's good. It's decent. Decent starting hand. Greetings, Traveler. It's got the Cobalt and Catacombs uh, thingamabobber going there. Question, do I coin out Animal Companion this turn? Or do I just play Savage Hyena? 
I'm gonna coin this out. Let's do it. And it gives me Misha. So, that isn't so bad. Then we can play Bear Shark next turn. Uh-oh. Well, that's not fun. Man. I know people like Rogue. There's a lot of people that like Rogue. Um... I'm going to change the plan here, Kelly said. Oh! I literally have no IQ. Oh, put Kelly Seth in a deck that has two cons cards. What a, what a freaking genius. I could have sworn it just said I had only one two cost card. No, I have six of them. Well... We're just going to forget that happened. Instead, I'm going to take a look at this Dragon Mech deck because I'm going to drop this because I saw a card that really caught my eye. Where are you, baby? I know you, and I want you, and I need you. Probably put that in there, you know? Reckless Fury I got in there. Unidentified Shield. Probably just put two of you in there. What if my brother's online? He's starting to get back into Hearthstone a little bit. Mm. Let's see if discard locks met up. Never a bad time to. Okay. Oh, nothing. Well, I just have some people over my room. This microphone is like super sensitive now, so like I can't even have conversations over here because it sounds like I'm literally by the microphone. I'm literally as far, I'm back all the way in my chair, and this is what I still sound like. This microphone's too sensitive. I feel like if I fart, it'll be like visible, like it'll be audibly hearable on the stream. And that's what I don't like. Because that's weird. I don't need everyone knowing that I'm dropping ass constantly in Hearthstone. Ugh. All right. Well, that was a fun turn one. Okay. Like that, like the my sneezing just, my sniffling just procs the audio thing up so high, and that really scares me. Reporting for booty. Question. I'm gonna succubus. Ooh, got the coin. That ain't so bad. That ain't bad at all. I've got a lot of drop frame rates so far. Hold on, let me just, let me just. Clear the notifications on that one. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit here. Hmm. Do I want to take the... Do I want to take... What's the benefit of that? There is no benefit. So I tap first. Yikers. And then we just do this. There is no benefit to doing that. <sighs> you know, if... Uh, you know, Rex Chance Roman. Oh, I should have cleared that off the board when I had a chance. Oh, that's disgusting. What the f frick? That is the big gay. Yikers. See, that's the problem because Paladin's now supporting, like, this spell meta. I don't really support a spell meta. Ah, that's a. I can take that loss. Like, it's supporting the spell meta because no one in their right mind, and, and I'm having like deja vu with this because yesterday on the stream, I ran against a Q block. That's right, Q block. So 2017 called and was like, hey, what's up, baby? And I was like, no, go back. It beat me because I was playing discard lock. But like, 
a year ago, you would never do this. You would never turn four Blessing of Kings onto a Tar Creeper. But now we got these Loas and stuff. Honestly, it's refreshing, but it's just like, you gotta learn the meta now. Everything's a surprise now, because is it meta? Is a turn four King onto Tar Creeper meta? That's the philosophical question of the day. Is it meta? Actually, here's a meta play that I really like. So you hit this button here, you do this, you win every game, okay? It's the two-click victory. Like that. That, big lame. Big lame. That's that's also really powerful, too. I might, I might actually want to put some board clear into this. This is also making... I also feel like um, silence meta is coming back really hard. Do I like it? A little bit? Really? No. If you guys don't know what silence meta is, it's like back in 2017... When, um, when Q-Block was a thing, you know, for those of you who are like, what's Q-Block? Well, before a bunch of cards got nerfed, you had, like, two demons in your deck, possessed lackey, summon a demon from your deck, you, uh, sacrificial packed it, which at the time used to heal you for eight instead of four, and then on turn five, on turn four, no, five, yeah, four if you have the coin, you could get a nine-cost minion, it was a, it was a three-nine, Void Lord, and that was cube, and the next turn, you cube it, which just... It, you basically flood the board, board with taunts. And this is just... <sighs> yikes. This is just... that. This is what this is. It's just yike. So I took the two cards that I didn't want it to take. Uh, we're going to trade here. I'm going to trade here. We're going to get this off the board. And we're going to put that there. I just want to get that Loa, or Spirit. I keep on mixing the names up, too. Like, Spirits, Loas. Sorry about that. I wanted to get that Spirit off the board, because that's just way too much minion generation. Oh, my lord. Okay, Buff Paladin. Yeah, that was another deck I talked about. Because uh, you got the, like, the Glowstone Technician, or whatever it's called. Last, uh, in, uh, Boomsday? Like, there just seems to be so much. I feel like Recruit Paladin, or Buff Paladin, could totally be a thing back in Wild. Loa, you my color. Not what I needed. Give me what I need. Not what I needed. I have to trade in here. Like I just gotta. I hate that card. You know, fun fact. That's a legendary in somewhat of a lesser form. That was the first legendary I ever dis uh, dusted. Was that paladin one? Ah, Tar Creeper. That's fun and exciting gameplay. You're gonna you're gonna take that face, you're gonna waste you're gonna waste that on face. Great. Oh, this is fantastic. Love this card. This is gonna be a fun one. Ready for this one, ladies and gents? Wait, we could be better than this. Okay. Are we ready for this one? Oh, Look at that now. Ain't that a th thick board? Question is, how do I want to trade this in? That? I'm going to do that. Saving the taunts is going to just do me wonders in the long run. It's at 15 health. Got some more board here. Maybe discard lock is meta against... Uh, I'm going to actually turn down the volume on the obs mixer just a little bit here okay maybe that's better hopefully that's not too loud or too quiet okay so that's meta new challenger gotta get used to the cards it's been like two days and i was gonna make flash cards and all that kind of fun stuff be like oh let's memorize the meta before you know yeah. but yeah that didn't exactly turn out as planned Great, I think that's my quest completed. Yep, that's quest. There we go. That's quest next turn. Actually, I don't even think I need to do that. I think if I... Let's do some math here. Two... No, I don't have enough for... Lethal. Oh, 
I'm just gonna punch you there. Punch you there. Now, fun fact for anyone who's forgotten, Paladin has a wide assortment of healing spells that it never used for decades because they were just tier, dog shit tier. But now they have sorts of fun stuff. Oh, um, forgot that was a thing too. Yeah, Ungora, when that rotates out, I have a lot of good memories with that expansion, but not going to be missing it. Actually, I will be missing it. I'm going to try not to enter too much into, like, health deficit. But I think we're winning this game. I think it's safe to say we're going to win this one. I mean, it's not like he's going to top deck that one card that's, like, draw a card, deal damage equal to that health, and then pull that 25 mana card. Oh, that card. You. It's not that card, but, oh, my God, that's a thick one. Can we, can we not? On the things that I don't consent to in Hearthstone, that's number one. Loa, hear my call. Okay. Uh, probably play you. <sighs> Too bad this is not a demon. Do you know how broken this would be if this was a demon? Like, Blood Reaver would go down and be able to bring back droves of these cards. Uh, I guess just uh, do that. That's just such a big car. That's a thick one. Trade these guys into it. And I gotta... I hope this discard's the right card. It does. Alright. There's no way they can win this. I mean, unless the equality consecration, but... I mean, if they do that, that's kind of screwing themselves over too in the whole process of doing that. Okay, or you can play Countenance Ashmore. A golden one, actually. That's. Wait a minute. Has every card in this deck been golden? Oh, this guy's playing. This isn't even his own deck. He's playing a Whizzlebang or Fizzlebang. Oh my god, I don't even know what his name is. <sighs> Whizbang the Wonderful. My bad. I had a freaking brain fart here i think this is lethal if i can do some simple math no it's not lethal because if i go here that someone's the gay wait no it is lethal no it's not lethal i'm just bad at math just give me a charge minion no oh man wait no i can life tap Hmm. Is it meta? I think it's meta. Why not throw a perfectly good game? I think it's meta. That might have just been the correct play there. Sometimes you gotta high ball in Hearthstone. You gotta have balls to win. No regrets. No nothing. I have one regret. That card. You cock thistle. Seriously? What are you gonna do? Stick it? You ever just wish you could go back in life and just like do things over. I'm not even worried about it. Cause he's gotta get through all that. And that. I gotta kill it though. That's the thing. He's top he's almost top decking at this point. Oh uh, never mind, he's not top decking anymore. He's got to be out of taunts at this point, right? Nope. He's got the most annoying one. That thing doesn't die. Can we please get like an update to Spirit Tiger then? Yeah, there's more health. Remember when he was like at two health? Yeah, I remember that. Hmm. 
How would how would a wise man do this? Wise no, wise man wouldn't make that play. A wise man would make this play. Cause he might be back at full health. But this is basically infinite value with this card. I really like this card actually. This makes discard lock not even that bad. And I'm missing a huge cards. That's like the six 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 card. That's um Death Rattle Summon uh put three minions that you discard this game back into your hand. That's a core card that I missed. This guy has nothing left. Right? Right? What are you gonna do, huh? Consecration? You're gonna consecrate me. And well he's at he's at fucking twenty health. What the fuck? When did when did that happen? Last turn. Okay. So that's what you've been buffing this entire game. To make a 5-4 Pyromancer. Wild Pyromancer. My bad. Dab on him. You just gonna stand there and watch? Okay. My girlfriend's standing and watching me. Play Hearthstone. Wow, that's... I guess that's another victory for discard lock. That's a fun one. I'm going to do some ranked play. Why not? Probably finish up the stream with that. Mm. And go back to studying for some AP bio. Because I have a test tomorrow on uh, cellular communication. And how uh, morphogens and other kind of muscle tissue forms from when we're just a fetus. Or a zygote. You know, that class is kind of boring for me, but the only fun thing that piqued my interest today is we might be doing a lab where we get to manipulate the genetic structure of a fruit fly. And that sounds really cool, because I'm like, I could have my fruit fly have, like, no legs and just have him buzz around with wings. Or I give him, like, two heads. Or I give him, like, six pairs of wings. Mulligan, I think, for this one, this is probably going to be Secret Hunter or another Recruit Hunter. And if that's another Recruit Hunter... I'm going to obviously put that back. I'm going to keep the Devil's Rag, and I think I'm just going to start it off like this. Having two turn three cards is really nice. Eh, I was like, eh, can I get Keliseth? No. I guess not get Keliseth, but that's okay. Wow. I think he is Secret Hunter. So, what wins these kind of games, for those who don't know, is the first one to Keliseth. I mean, it doesn't guarantee to win, but it's certainly a boost. But he's making an error here. He's going to go for early damage because he's kind of a greedy player. And I'm going to go on a very bad whim here. And I'm going to say he's a very new player. Because more, most times than not, this is actually going to win you the game. And I'll put a couple demonstrations here. Because if he hero powers again next turn and attacks, he has like one durability on this. And I have three. I mean, I can Hunter's Mark. I can make some small trades. Oh, and I already hero powered this turn. Damn it. I was like, no. I'm going to coin Devil Sar. I'm going to Devil Sar and play dead next turn. Gre ah, I was going to do the greetings, Traveler. Okay, so he's got Leoke. And he's going to keep pushing face. That's cool. So I want to keep that egg alive. But I also want to put some pressure on the board for him. I'm going to put this out there. And just wait for it. Let him come to you. He's got to run this down. Especially if it's Secret Hunter. I mean, that's probably like that's probably like a Call of Duty or hunting tactic. You know, let them come at you. But that, that puts awkwardness on the board right there. Because he's got to trade into that. Or I can play dead and manipulate that card to how I want it to work. That made no sense. Basically, I can get more utility out of that card if he doesn't kill it. He's actually going to flank strike it. Kill the Leoak. Yes, thank you, RNG. Okay, so what I think I want to do here is why I haven't attacked with this yet. Play this, that, all right, game, can you register? Thank you. Do that and get that off the board. That egg is basically the gateway. Is it's the golden ticket, you know, from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's what that egg is. <sighs> I don't exactly like a three-three on the board. Or he's just gonna 
fucking hunter mark my egg. But that means he's got one less of those in his deck. But that's his bow. He's done that. Hero power. Man, this really feels like I'm doing a mirror match here. It's kind of like dancing around here. He's certainly getting the damage lead on me here. Should I track? I'm going to track first. Fuck. That's not what I want. I guess we're going to King Crush. Hunter marked my Shaw. That's annoying. Well, um, hmm. I don't know what the play here is. Hmm. <laughs> because I want to, like, hmm. I want to, like, play dead this, but, like, also cube it, too. Oh, man. That's kind of awkward. That's super awkward. What if he silences it, though? We're going to set that up for him. I'm going to make that an awkward trade. Yeah, when that cube of meat explodes, um, or carve of meat, cube of meat. What's that from? That's from Binding of Isaac. When that carnivorous cube. Oh boy, I wonder what that could be. Oh boy, I wonder what that could be. Oh, Secret Hunter. Oh no. Oh no. Whatever could it be? I mean, he's he's winning this matchup. I'll tell you that up straight now. So let's let's find out what it could be. How do we want to bait this out? Do we want to bait the carnivorous cube? I'm gonna bait the carnivorous cube. That's got eggs in it. Are eggs more valuable? You gotta bait it out somehow. Ice trap. No explosive trap. For starters. Watering monster. Okay. Okay, maybe we can finesse this one in our favor here. That'd be kind of nice. That'd be really nice, actually, if we could finesse this one in our favor. I feel like we can. So, fun fact, he's telling me that he's going to play Explosive Trap next turn. Next secret. How do I know that? Well... I have a feeling. Eagle Horn Bow. But he's in top deck situation. That's what he's in. And that's an awkward spot to be in. Sadly, I'm going to have to play the canned. Oh no, it's Freezing Trap actually. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, that changes things. That changes things actually really good in my favor. I probably should have hero powered that turn. So, misplay on my part. And then, I'm using this candle. Yeah, I could have had him at one health last turn. So, that's why I keep the candle alive so long. Because it really puts him in an awkward position. He's running Spell Hunter in 2018. Who runs these decks? That was... <sighs> Spell Hunter was like tier 1 back in like December last year. And I remember that because I got all the components to it and never was able to really grind out with it. So I messed like my one chance to hit Legend. And like he thinks he's going to do this here. But ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the greatest meme on the planet. King Crush. My favorite card in this game. Oh, he conceded like a chicken. Well, my girlfriend is going to be exiting the vicinity for a little bit. So we're just going to do a little solo adventure here. I think we did a Witchwood last night. We lost. Yes, we did lose a monster hunt. Because why am I doing this? Well, because I don't want to be... In the I want to I wanna walk my girlfriend out to the car. Like a gentleman. And then eat ass. What? I'm here to kick butt and chew... No, I'm here to kick gum and chew ass. And I'm all out of butt. 
versus Rot Tooth. Why is he called Rot Tooth if he's a spirit? I feel like throwing up for some reason. Huh. Hashtag relatable. Wait, I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm dumb. I was gonna buff that with that, but I'm just kind of autistic. This, oh my god, can we not, please? I have like two chromosomes. I might actually lose this. I might just lose this, actually. I'm an axe to grind. I wish I wasn't so bad at Hearthstone. And that's how you win that one. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna walk my girlfriend out to the car. Oh, and of course everyone left. Ha 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 ha, that's a good one. Okay, we're gonna go back to some ranked play. Actually, ha ha. Oh, Russ Dango, open up some packs. Bust open some, bust up some cold ones with the boys. Okay, let's do some, let's do some Recruit Hunter. I know we talked about Theory Craft Thursday, but actually, you know what? Let's, let's hold, to, let's hold true to Theory Crafting because... You know, that's really what makes this game so much fun because we got all these decks that are like in meta but let's let's try some let's try some shaman stuff because I've heard like aggro shaman aggro shaman is like nutty it's like actually nutty this expansion actually hold on okay now we're cooking with gasoline. You might be like, well, what's he doing in wild? 
Oh, I don't think I have enough cards for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of missing uh, a lot of the legendaries to make this work. Master of Evolution. Thrall. Hmm. Well, I guess we need a lot more uh, evolved cards, so we're just gonna we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna throw that away. Cause I got my dragon, my mech deck. Yeah, we got something new for. Sh what did we get? We got a void collar. Oh yeah, this must have been from uh yeah, my wild cards that I've been getting. Fairly new to wild actually. I started back in twenty seventeen and recently got into wild this year. Not really into wild, but kind of purchasing the cards. I actually for spending all that money on those wild expansions, I actually haven't touched much of wild to begin with, so that's kind of looking back on that now, maybe that wasn't the smartest purchase, but we wouldn't be here then, would we? Oh, I'm not going too fast. Oh, there's really. It's my second mind control tech. That's. Oh. Okay, that's everything. All right, let's hit back. Kind of like open this up to uh, like for anyone who wants to like challenge me, but I don't think there are many people. Actually, here I'll just leave this up here. My battle net. Challenge me, you schmucks. Okay. What can we... What class can we make? What class don't I play? I don't play any rogue. Don't play it. Don't like it. I hate... I hate rogue. I think rogue is a very boring class. Because basically... Here's what, here, here's what you do for anything. Okay? Here we go. So, two eviscerates. Okay. You need... Where's my preparation? This is a joke, right? This is a joke. I don't have... Is preparation really a 5 cost card? I'm missing so many legendaries for it. What the fr- Where's, where's prep? Where's prep? Oh, it's a zero cost card. Okay, so never mind. <laughs> Whoops. When you make when you make jabs at classes and you don't even know what to do. You do two cold bloods, you know. Pi Let's let's just see what we can do here. This is rush. We can put two of those bad boys down in there. You have a weapon. Draw two pirates from your deck. I'll take one raiding party. My eyes. I'll do that. I'll throw a buccaneer. Okay. So we get rid of that. I should have Van Clef, of course. Fan of Knives. I should have the Totem. There, two Totems. I feel like there's just too many pirates. Actually, let's dump some pirates that we don't really need. Uh, you, I don't need. I know I don't need any of you. Like, probably a Vanish, and then let's put into that mix, let's put, what, what else should we put in that mix, huh? I have to really poop. 
This is bad. But I have to take take a shit. I'll be back in a half hour. man yikers like how do i explain that that hurt you know i gotta eat some fiber fiber time you know let's do it huh let me just move this oh i'm i'm loving this mic i hope the audio on this just sounds amazing you know what is theory crafting is it really just throwing stuff together and getting wins with it and then being like hey look at this deck it totally works wow Maybe. Maybe that's Tweak. That's a new one. Mordecai. Seems like a couple of my friends are actually playing Overwatch right now. You know, hey, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having fun. I'm probably going to be switching over to do some homework. Probably. I might do like an hour. I'll make, this, I'll make this video like an hour and 30 minutes. This is odd paladin for sure. And that makes me sad. That makes me sad because, well, it's Odd Paladin. The pleasure is mine. The pleasure is mine. I don't like Odd Paladin because, um, <laughs> I I did, never got the Valera <laughs> or the Shadow. I forgot what it is. Yeah, I never got the hero character in it. Because it glitched out in the year of the mammoth rotation. So. Yeah. Is everything at max? I hope it is. Yeah. Alright. Waiting for this rogue to do something. I mean, paladin to do something. You gonna do something there, buckaroo? Huh? Are you taking a poop too and you browsing on Reddit? And you're like, oh no, I had a Hearthstone game. You know? No, nope, we're just gonna. We're just gonna do that, huh? We probably shouldn't have attacked. That would have made that super juicy. Actually, I doubt Paladin has any board clear whatsoever. So this just might work. Thailand lava. Wow, that's meta. That worked. GG too easy. Hmm. How do I say this? Am I bored of this meta? No, it's just kind of weird because I don't know what to do with it. You know, there's just so much stuff to do. Um. Like, I want to make stuff work, but I just don't have a lot of the cards. You know. 
like I have hardly just doesn't seem like I have that many cards from this expansion actually what I should probably download download the innkeeper again so I get my hearthbone account kind of you know updated uh, I can't play druid until UI rotates out because I don't have UI which really sucks let's give that pirate let's give uh, let's give dragon my mech let's give that another shot huh dragon my mech across your face okay my big fat throbbing throbbing zillax okay i have the biggest zillax you'll ever see okay Alright. Garrosh. Probably drop Sun in Genesis. I feel like that was a good card situationally, but like, eh, not so much. Not so much anymore. Great. Fire Tree Witch Doctor. Hopefully, he doesn't pull any stupid shenanigans like that. Thing is, is I want to play my th this card like on a whim. <laughs> Discover spell. This actually just might be juicy. In the last name. In the last name. Happy ghoul. You gonna you gonna do that too? Uh, don't trade in. You oh you didn't you dumbass. Okay. I will be your so, now the funny thing is, is you gotta trade cards in now. If this can beat Zulak, this will stand the test of time. If this can beat Zulak, we got a good deck here. I don't feel like it's gonna beat Zulak, though. But you gotta try, right? Trade all that damage into that guy, huh? Really, that's that's what you're gonna do here. Two dragons. We got board clear coming up here. Don't worry, guys. Actually, if he does a happy ghoul, th yeah, yeah, voodoo doctor. Come on, buddy, get your happy ghouls on the board. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Happy go, happy go, happy go, happy go. Okay, I'm kind of running out of shit to kill him with here. So. Probably really early with that one, but I'm kind of like holding my ground here at this point. Uh-oh. Got this brawl as an insurance plan though. Don't life drinker me seriously. Happy goal one. Happy goal number two. Yeah. Fuck. What do I do here? I mean I'm taking nine damage. I gotta I gotta like negate that somehow. I was like, well, I'm taking 9 damage, might as well put a minion on the board. But then I was like, well, no, because you could probably play Fungal Mancer and get a whole bunch of damage off of that. I'm just stalling at this point, it's just not looking good for me. Yeah. Yep. I'm glad I made that play, because I felt like in my gut that's exactly what was going to happen. But I'm dead next turn, so nothing is going to save me, unless, God forbid, RNG... Dareth, save me. RG's not going to save me. Oh. Well, this is an awkward position. I'm a dead man either way. So. Eh, might as well go out with... Fucking well played. I'll let him get the kill. I mean, if I lose, I lose. I don't really auto concede too much. Yeah, just hit me in the face, little fuck. Wow. If you're gonna disrespect me like that, I mean, 
Could you? Could you not? Really, you're just gonna? Yeah, fuck you. You know what? I was gonna be humble about it, but you just had to. You had to do that, man. No. Nope. My bad. We're taking sun and Gen sun and sun and Genesis out of there. Get that out of my fucking deck. Bone Drake. I don't think the Marsh Drake is really like. Thinking about what to put in this deck, you know. I can make this odd. Like, we have that. I'm really losing. Dun, dun, dun. Brock about Dino, Dino. Crowd rush for that. We're losing Dr. Boom. We keep Alex Straza. Uh, yeah. Yeah, What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was gonna... Uh oh, this must have unplugged. Oh yeah, this got unplugged. I'm sorry. I'm whispering now because I got yelled at by my parents. Okay. Alright. Get that away. Okay, what was I gonna put in here? Yeah, I was gonna put like a three cost card in here. Something like that. Let me use. Why not? No board control. So let's copy. I have an idea.
Not seeing too many dragons here. I don't really like that. Is there like cobalt in there? That one hurt too much. Blue doll. Do do. All right. Okay, let's take a look at what we got over here. Got eight cards to fill. That. Put another shield slam in there. One world win. Now it's set in Genesis. Another Dynomatic. Don't want Gore Howl. No, I'll take the Tar Lord. Alright, we're going to call it a here because I have some stuff I have to do in the real world. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching Hearthstone Uncut, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.